Hello everyone. Uh, so right now I want to talk about uh, Kashim Shatima, the running mate to to Tinubu, and the fact that you know he recently called Nigerians clowns uh, on Twitter. According to him, he said they are, you know, sort of that Naira hit one thousand five hundred Naira. And that instead of them to instead of those people to come together and find ways to make Nera work and all sorts of things, they they are jubilating like clowns on Twitter. Listen to what he said. One thousand five hundred to the dollar instead of us to coalesce into a single post and salvage our nation's economy. Sadly, sadly, some clowns are celebrating. On Twitter. Oh, <laughs> That's what he says. Some clowns are celebrating on, on, on Twitter. You can imagine the insolence uh, where someone who was part of people who rigged their ways into office calling citizens clown. I mean, the disrespect that Nigerian citizens get in this country is so massive. To the extent, sometimes you just wonder, what is going on? But again, they have a lot of citizens who think, who think they are slaves, and so they allow themselves to be disrespected to this extent. And this disrespect, this is not the first time. There are so many instances, and I will just bring a few. There are so many instances where Kashim Shetima has behaved in this way. It's almost like when you see him, he's a person with such inferiority complex that he feels that he needs to bring people down he needs to castigate people he needs to talk down on people he needs to call people names for him to be able to feel a certain sense of importance you know even when i hear him speak there is this thing about him as in he he, he wants to be a certain way but unfortunately it's not that way he isn't who he think he is that's just what 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 comes you see the the, the 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 flippancy with, with which he talks he describes certain things and then you find him he wants to sound oratory but it's not coming out because at the end of the day honestly if you ain't got it you ain't got it there's something about that flair of speaking i mean there are people that when you listen to them they move crowd like when they're speaking people you know Sometimes if it's not there, it's not there. No matter how much you, fix, you try to force it, and no matter how much you try to uh, demean other people for you to feel uh, important. And, and it's always one of the things, or many of the things that Kashim Shatima has, al has, always, has always done in trying to talk down on people, in trying to, you know, denigrate people, in trying to demean people. And I'm going, I'm going to also play you another of those uh, ways that he, he, he has spoken down uh, or, or, or on people. And, and just take a listen. Yesterday, I hosted my classmates from the University of Ibadan, the MSc class of 1991. The best graduating student in my class was from Oladipo. Oladipo is languishing as a DGM in one mediocre bank. He was the best graduating student that was languishing in one mediocre bank because he's not there looting money. He's not there rigging his way and winning election. You know, the, the, the way they, they sort of like look at people with honest, you know, decent jobs and look down upon them. It's, it's unbelievable. How you call, oh, he's, a, he's languishing. So he's throwing out and telling us that he's languishing. So he, he's what? He's an illegitimate vice president, right? And that's the thing that is shocking him and it's, and it's failing him. And he says this, he says some mediocre, this is someone who is first class. This is someone, the person he's talked about, I, I went to read his profile. Working in, in a great organization, a great bank, that he, this one is calling mediocre. This is someone who has a PhD. You understand? And just talking down on him and feeling feeling cool that he is one of the achievers, right? 
Recently, Mr. Peter B met a classmate of his who is who became a professor as far back as 200, uh, 2010. And this person, they met recently, and the person was talking about that his salary is still the same. You could see empathy when in the right top i've done a video and i'll put the video in the in the description uh, uh, uh part so that you could go and watch the link and in, in talking about that particular uh classmate of his you could see the pain that mr peter obi was expressing in that this is their best graduating student who had attained the highest uh, you can level you can attain in in terms of academia and look at how the person is still on one salary for over 14 years how that salary the the number the amount of dollars that salary could give him it can't give it to him now i knew he was and talking about how the country this is how the country treats the best you know you could feel empathy mr peter Obi was not gloating that oh he's a billionaire uh, who has so many days or so many uh companies or chairman of whatever bank or this and that and try to that's that's what you call decency that's a decent human being not the one that comes to denigrate his his classmate you know understand the best graduate graduating student just to show that oh he that wasn't the best graduate graduating student see where he is now who does that you know this is someone who even the position that they have wreaked their way to be able to get he's not been able to to to, to own it. He's not been able to find satisfaction in it. He's not been able to be at peace with it. And so he feels he has to bring people down for him to be able to feel some sort of way. It's, 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 it's just, there's something just uh, off about that kind of a behavior from someone that no matter how much the person had gone on uh, to, 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 to think he has achieved certain things, He's still, he's, he's still not in him. He's still not satisfied because there's that inferiority complex where he knows he, he isn't really what it is that he says he is. But that's not the, there was also a, a time that he called uh, a sitting vice president and said that, oh, he was just meant to be selling ice cream and, 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 and all of that. I will leave you uh, to watch. What about that Oshibanjo? Does you know the name sell? The VP? Oshibanjo is a good man. He's a nice man. But nice men do not make good leaders. Because nice men tend to be nasty. Nice men should be selling popcorn, ice cream, and balabobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobob